you very much. Thank you very much. Let me first of all recognize the presence of Honorable Justin Charles, our Minister for Youth, Culture, Sports, and Constituency Empowerment. Honorable Peter Seja, the Minister for Education and President of our great party, the Dominica Labour Party. Let me also recognize the presence of my wife, Melissa, and my two children who are here today. My family also, my aunt, my very dear aunt, Bill, who is here, let me say hi to you. My cabinet colleagues, my parliamentary colleagues, the executive of the Dominica Labour Party, ladies and gentlemen, friends, well-wishers, supporters, all, good afternoon to you. To God be the glory. My fellow Dominicans, my fellow liberites, friends, well-wishers, ladies and gentlemen, it was good to be in Punjab and New Delhi, India, but it is great to be back home in Canefield, Dominica. Brothers and sisters, I have heard of coming home parties. I was aware that something was being planned by my cabinet and parliamentary colleagues. But never in my wildest dreams did I imagine, far less expect, that such a multitude of persons would have descended on Cainfield Airport to welcome me back home. I love the positive energy. I love the vibrant color. I absolutely love the scene and the atmosphere here in Canefield. I will say to you, today I feel great. I feel loved. I feel valued and appreciated by my people. There is no better feeling in the world than to know that that which you have done for others is warmly and sincerely appreciated. I want to say to you, ladies and gentlemen, that whatever I do, I do for you. And this afternoon, and this afternoon from the bottom of my heart, I say to you, thank you, thank you, thank you. In 16 years, in 16 years of my public life, in 16 years of my public life, many of you here in this audience have stood by me in good times and in bad times. You have been my source of joy and satisfaction. On this special occasion, I share this international recognition with you, my brothers and sisters of Dominica, and with you, my comrades and friends in the Dominica Labour Party. I, I do not know why others are getting themselves so flustered over this award. If, if it has no value, why are they bothered about it? You should not worry about worthless things. If you think that being recognized and honored by the number one university in the most populated country in the world is, worthy, is not worthy of note, then stop letting it bother you.
But since I believe that it is of concern to all the tractors in the United Workers Party, that I got an award and the leader got none, I shall speak to the principal of the Dominica Grammar School tomorrow. And seek out an honorary CXC certificate for the leader of your position, Lennox Linton. Honorary CXC. But seriously, seriously, brothers and sisters, it was, it was a very moving experience for me to stand as leader of the, of the one of the smallest populated countries of the world and be recognized and acknowledged by the, by the intellectual leaders of the largest populated country in the world, India. I was amazed at how much they knew about Dominica. I was inspired by the high regard with which they hold the governance of this beautiful country. This evening, I say to you, my fellow Dominicans, walk tall, hold your heads high. This country, this country is respected by many. This country is admired by many. This country is revered by many. This award bears the name Roosevelt Skerritt. But it is in honor of the people of the Commonwealth of Dominica. I don't care what you call me tomorrow. Call me anything you like. But if I had to express my preference, I would ask you to call me simply Skerritt. That's who I am, and that's who the people of Dominica love. They love their PM, they love Skerritt, and I say to you, my dear brothers and sisters, I love you most dearly, the liberalized supporters of the Labour Party. So, so don't lose slip, ladies and gentlemen about the grumbling of others. I have told them already, they need to grow up. They make the tearing down of Dominica their favorite pastime. I shall continue to make the development of this country my primary focus and my principal endeavor. So this evening, my brothers and sisters, I wish to say how touched and humble I am by your warm embrace. I wish to let you know, I wish to let you know that notwithstanding the nasty, salacious articles that others write and circulate about Roosevelt's spirit and the government of Dominica, this country is respected far and wide. People admire our resilience. They admire our warmth. They speak highly of our embrace of culture and the warmth that we radiate to visitors. They like Dominica under the Dominica Labour Party. This is a beautiful country, my brothers and sisters. Lovely professional university in Punjab in there recognize all this and honored your leader. I am touched and humbled by the gesture. I shall use the occasion, my dear brothers and sisters, to recommit myself to the task 
of nation building to the task of improving the lives of so many Dominicans. I shall celebrate this achievement by working harder in the service of Dominica and its wonderful people. I want you to do the same, ladies and gentlemen. Believe in this country, uphold its laws, respect its institutions. We have a wonderful island to build. We have the next generation to mold. Let us use the occasion of this international recognition to recommit ourselves to the cause of nation building. Now, on the domestic front, I am aware of widespread concerns among the population concerning alleged inappropriate behavior on the part of three adults in positions of trust and influence in our society. I wish to state at this point and from this stage tonight that I have only just returned to Dominica and I'm looking forward as early as tonight to a full briefing from the acting prime minister and all relevant office holders with whom I would normally confer after a long period of absence from the country. When I am brought up to speed with all what would have transpired during my absence and also that which is in the social, political and economic melting pot at this time, I will act decisively on any and all matters requiring my attention and intervention. So I want to thank you for coming out this evening, comrades and friends. Thank you for remaining focused. Thank you for your continued love and support for your government. Thank you for your prayers and well wishes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I love you, Dominica. I love you, my people. To God be the glory, great things he has done. I want to say to you, my dear friends, that my love for you shall never die. My love for you is unwavering, and my commitment to this country is unwavering. We have to work together to build this country. We have to work together to make Dominica a better place for all of us, every single one of us in this country. But it must be done with us being a united people, a focused people, a people determined to make life better for others. As your chief servant, I say to you, I am committed to the task and I am committed to working even harder to make life better for all of us in Dominica. So I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. And while I may have my immediate family, I always say to them that my family are the supporters and well-wishers of the Dominican Labour Party. So I want to thank you very much. Okay, this is a this is a young member of the LYO. So. <laughs> well, well, at seven months old, he kn you knew how to do power the people. So with them. Thank you very much, and let us all enjoy the rest of our evening. God bless you. God bless Dominica. And God bless the Dominica Labour Party. <laughs>